All right, welcome back to Full Throttle. Uh, cool. We made it to the Corley Motors head Corley Motors headquarters. I don't walk. Shut up, man. The Corley Motors factory, holy ground. your hats. We got your pennants. We uh. official Corley Motors merchandise. Kind of cute for a car that is. <coughs> uh. <clears throat> what can I get you? Why all the lights down here? We got a demolition derby tonight. First prize is a vintage Corley hardtail, completely restored by the old man himself. Yep. What's this big arena doing way out here? Corley built the Smashatorium so his employees could have some wholesome entertainment nearby. He sure took care of his employees. I got no idea what's gonna happen to us now that he's gone. Seen any vultures around here? Nah, we don't have much of a vulture problem here, even though their hideout is right up the road. <laughs> they stay pretty much locked up in there. Not very social. I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well, good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? How about that little car there? It's small, but it's not cheap, my friend. You better just take it for a test drive to make sure. Something small, furry, and yellow. Sorry, this is the only set of teeth I got. <laughs> Dang, there goes another one. Those uh, shirts come in extra, extra large. Eh. Uh, eh, uh, no, but they're pretty shrunk. No thanks. What do those pennants say on them? Can't beat a Corley, they say. Kind of ironic, actually, considering how he died. <laughs> Still, look great on your bedroom wall. No walls. My bike is my home. We could set you up with a little pole so you could uh, make a flag, you know, for your back seat. I'll, uh, think about it. Bunnies, and plenty of them. You want bunnies? I got your bunnies. How much you got on you? Um, can I just take them out for a test drive? I think you may not be ready for the kind of commitment <laughs> that comes with a Corley Bunny value pack. Sorry, son. Do you actually have any money? As much as I need. What's in the hat? I don't know. Came filled with it. Probably some sort of packing material. Packs a punch, I'll tell you that much. <coughs> Looky here. Nothing personal, but why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, all right? Just clearing my throat. Drive your own derby car by remote control. Excuse me, but are those shirts, uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. One hundred percent cotton. Oh, um, that's too bad. I'm allergic to cotton. <laughs> lovable, lovable little bunnies. Sucks up the juice. It's closed. It's closed mechanically in a serious way. <laughs> Rusted too. It's sealed shut. I don't walk. I don't walk. Crap. No, I need to get over there. Ah, sorry, I hit the microphone. I do that sometimes. It's connected to my headset, so. go clear up there. Okay, okay, this is good. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's the vulture's hideout. 
the other side of this field, I've heard a lot about the vultures. And I guess it's all true. <laughs> I don't want to set off any. Those weapons were out of weight. So you get the idea. We need that first bunny for the battery, but we gotta let loose some bunnies and then follow their trail when they set the mines off. That should put some life into it. Sure, so we, sure. Take it for a spin. So Just we took the uh, we took the batteries from the bunny. All sizes and colors. Car. Fill our handy beverage hats with your drink of choice. Don't go in there. Now look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. <laughs> it's a little no, creepy. It's just me and the bunnies. I like how he fit that under his jacket. <laughs> that was quick. So we go up as far as we can. I don't set off any. And then we gotta be quick here. Why'd you walk all the way back? We gotta be quick and grab up as many of the bunnies as we can. Cause Ben, like an idiot, just threw the entire box on the ground. Yeah, we can let the last one go. I hate super. I know, dig. Mistake. Oh, Ben, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <clears throat> Your father. Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. Corley and I. I said shut up about my dad. <laughs> I'm losing my temper, Marine. And you're about to lose much more. Okay, 
That's enough. Mm, not quite. Uh, let, let me go, go or else. else. Or else what? I'll sick the polecats on you. The polecats are in jail, Ben. Put them there, remember? <laughs> so do let me go or else. Or else what? I'll call you names. I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Remember this was uh her dad's nickname for her. Diaper Dynamo. How did you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I, I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still <laughs> fit in my clothes. Okay, you stay here. Hey. <laughs> stay here. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No. We have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Rip Burger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm. That could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. <laughs> Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try if to you recognize her voice, uh, she her plays mom and several other voices on so Futurama. Play along, it's a very prolific uh, vocal actress. The demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her ejecting out of her car? No, they'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience in your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> That's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow you little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. <laughs> he prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another masked newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of Pyla, Doreen Schmorley. All right, boys. Sick of me. And finally, we have a last-minute addition to the lineup tonight. A deadly-looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Now, are you ready to see some reckless driving? Are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Then let the demolition derby begin. Where are you, Ben? Hang on, Mo. Here I come. Uh 
Ah, they, they used the arrow keys and not the WASD, so I got thrown off there for a minute. So basically, we have to hit Mo head on. No, I want to go up the ramp. What are you doing? Get over here and nail me. And so 42 is the bolus in uh, the other group, the henchmen. Watch out for the Boom Boom Brothers, Mo. That's a hint as to how we beat the henchmen. We go up the ramp and drive over them. Oh, these controls are so awful. Why didn't that work? Alright, so what we gotta do is we gotta push the orange car up the ramp over there. I feel bad for whoever's in the orange car. Push this over the ramp, and then we drive over it. Okay, Boom Boom Brothers, it's all over. Get him! What are you doing? Like, are you taking a nap? <sighs> Idiots. Okay, Mo. Time for our big finale. Do it. <laughs> I love his run. Wait, what's that? It's the unknown Avenger, and he's on fire. Let's give him a hand, folks. That looks painful. We really should put him out right away, but what a show, huh? Well, we should put him out. So we run around the wall, setting everything on fire. I'll see what I can do, but I'm burning at both ends here. Looks like all the Still no sign of Miss Morley. Hmm. I guess the Avenger. Hmm. Well, folks, it looks like the party's getting a little out of hand. The stadium seems to be catching fire. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Finally. Now, squish that firefly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run. <laughs> he's in the orange car again.
I don't remember what to do here. Oh, there we go. Dumbasses. Did you get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised, <laughs> and give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm. Funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders <laughs> meeting. Alright, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here, and we'll see you back in a couple days.